What's up guys? The new season of Game of Thrones is upon us. Uh, it starts next month, less than a month away. I have not watched this final trailer yet. And uh, before I get into this trailer reaction, uh, this is going to go out to my good friend Dylan Clancy, who is one of the biggest Game of Thrones fans I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah, we're good friends. We always talk Game of Thrones. So he asked me if I was going to do this reaction. So yeah, I'm going to do this. And also it goes out to uh, Mary Whiteside. She asked me if I've seen this too. So uh, yeah, so this is for you guys. Uh, anyway, putting on my headphones now. And I'm excited. I actually watch all the seasons uh, prior to the, the new season that happens. So can't wait to see what unfolds in season seven. I know that this is going to be, I believe, seven episodes. And then there's going to be six episodes. And that'll wrap the whole thing up, which I'm going to be sad. This is such an amazing show. But anyway... Here we go. Don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere. Always. In your mind. centuries our families fought together against their common enemy despite their differences together we need to do the same if we're gonna survive because the enemy is real it's always been real snows fall and the white winds blow the lone wolf dies but the pack survives Oof. well i'm definitely gonna watch that again but wow i'm super super pumped uh, to see what's going to happen in this next season. Love the music that they used in this. It's uh, the song that they used in the last episode of the last season when Cersei uh, blew up the High Scepter and supposedly Marjorie and the Tyrells. And that music is kind of like foreshadowing that this is the end. They didn't really show too much of uh, the, the mountain in that trailer, but uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what unfolds with the mountain because the one dude pumped him full of all that freaking crazy juice and will him and the hound finally meet again oh i that could be insane there's so many different uh, things that could happen and also Littlefinger, you can't trust the guy to save your life sometimes he is completely on sansa's side uh but in the end he's always about little fingers always about himself and uh whatever gets him to that next rung where he wants to go he will step over anybody I do believe that he cares about Sansa, but he's still always gonna put himself first. Of course, I'm also very curious to see what happens with Daenerys. Uh, will she finally meet up with Jon Snow? I could talk forever, honestly. There, are, That's what's great about Game of Thrones. There's so many different plot lines going on. Uh, every episode, there's just so much meat there. There's never a dull moment, I think, uh, in Game of Thrones. You know, most TV shows, they have a uh, filler episode. You don't get that with Game of Thrones because there's just so much ground to cover. But I am so curious to see what unfolds in this next season. If you have not watched Game of Thrones yet, you are completely missing out. It is really just one of the greatest shows ever made, if not the greatest show ever made. Every show actually feels like you are watching a, a cinematic feature. It doesn't feel like a TV show. That's the, the production value that goes into every episode of Game of Thrones. And no character, and I mean no character, is safe on this show. I can't think of another show that can make that claim. Also, will Daenerys take back the Seven Kingdoms? Is that gonna happen? With all the, the game pieces, I guess you could say, that are at play at this point, 
they got a lot of ground to cover in season seven. Uh, and the last season, whatever they call that, 7B, I don't know. Oh, and Theon Greyjoy. Um, I don't like Theon as Reek. It, it, it just, it, it pains my heart to see him in such a weak state. I want Theon to, to rise up again and actually become Theon Greyjoy again, you know? This is a character that's just been beaten down for like the last four seasons, three, four seasons. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, trailer reaction for... Uh, the final trailer for Game of Thrones. I know I talked more than just the trailer, but uh, yeah, I love this show to death. So post in the comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this show. Let me know your favorite character in Game of Thrones because there's a lot of great ones. Didn't even mention Tyrion, but yeah, Tyrion, fantastic character. Tyrion's my favorite. Also, uh, next Tuesday evening, 8 p.m., I'm gonna be doing a live stream stream. I usually do them uh, Tuesday in the a.m., uh, 11 a.m., but uh, I'm gonna try prime time, and we're gonna see how that how that goes. Welcome to prime time, bitch. But uh, I'm not calling you a bitch, but you know what I mean. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day, every day, uh, and days like today on Friday we do free for all Friday, so we can talk Game of Thrones. Uh, also, you can follow me at Jerome Dumbs uh, on all social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Jerome Dumb out.